Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the quick add syntax for TickTick. -tick because the faster you can enter your tasks and get all the information in, less clicking, the more likely it is you're going to actually enter them into your devices. Buckle up. All right, so there are two spots that the quick add syntax works from. First, you can enter them here. So let's talk about my task. And then we'll do one of the quick add syntax items as well, which is the caret character, which lets you do your list. And you can also do it with tilde. Then I can put it into any one of these if I wanted. Uh, just a quick note, you can see right here, Skillshare tick tick. This is a video that's going to be part of my Skillshare course. So we're going to cover this again in the Skillshare course on TickTick -Tick that I have coming up in the next few weeks. So if you want to see that, make sure you go below, hit subscribe, and then hit the bell so that you hear when I announce it. So we can put it in a list. Let's choose, I'll just put it in the inbox, even though that's where it would end up by default. And then we could also add a tag if we wanted to. So I, this will be an in progress task. And if we want to add a due date, so this does two ways to add due dates. I can either do smart smart due date. So today at 2 p.m. That's parse that and it'll become today at 2 p.m. Or you can do the star and then start going through right? I could say today, right at but it won't give me I don't know if it'll give me the 2 p.m. Yep. So it will actually, but you don't even need the star. It'll work anyways. And the final real quick add thing you can do is priority. Do that with an exclamation mark. I can choose like if this high, medium or low, right? I'll go with high. And then if you are using this with someone else, you could use the at symbol and start typing their name, right? And it will assign this to the other person in that's using your lists in tick tick. I'm not so that's not going to fill in anything for me. Now once you're your task in you kind of can use some of the quick add syntax still. So if I click in the description, I can use the pound sign to get my tag. Priority does not work. Nor can I change it to a specific list. Now, if I wanted to switch it to a list, I actually have to come down to my inbox and like navigate through the folders that I have um, for various projects. The other place that quick add works that is probably more important even is in the quick add box. So I have that map to control option uh, space for me, because that's what I do for all my task managers as I've had them. But it'll also work here, right? So I can do my task, I can tag it in progress, I can put it in the inbox, because that's because I'm going to delete it after. So that's where I want it. I can today, oh, say at 1pm, now we'll get parsed. You can see it turned gray when it started parsing it. And I can also set my priority. And I'll set this one as medium. Now I'll add that in. And you can see I have a my task. It's now orange medium, right? It has a double exclamation instead of triple. Um, it has my tag in there and it is in the inbox, which is the list I wanted it in. One thing that you'll need to do to get the smart date parsing is to come into your settings under general, make sure smart date parsing is on. And then I have switched it to remove text in tasks. So if you do keep text in tasks, what will happen is my other task today at 1.30 p.m. I actually kept that today at 1.30 p.m. text in my task, which honestly, I don't really want. And that is the default function. I actually think this is a mistake in Tic Tac. So I want to do remove text in tasks from um, smart date parsing. You see, you can also do that with your tags, keep or remove text in tasks. That's it. That's how we do our quick add syntax for Tic Tic. I wish they would add the description. I wish they had a few more things like setting your duration properly in there. They don't do that. As I said, this is going to be part of a course on Skillshare on TickTick. Tick. If you want to get that, you can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare. That'll start your two week free trial. Maybe you wait until my course is up, then you can just take it for free. And otherwise, if you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe, hit the bell so YouTube lets you know what's happening. 
And you could support the channel in general at patreon.com slash curtismichael, where I will give all patrons free access to the courses I do as well. Have an excellent day.